What if your users could see changes instantly without refreshing the page? Laravel Echo is your front-end companion for real-time application. It's a JavaScript library that makes subscribing to channels and listening to server-side events very simple. Echo connects to a WebSocket server like Laravel Reverb and provides a beautiful unified API for listening to events. No more wrestling with WebSocket's connection or polling intervals, just elegant reactive code that brings your application to life. Let me show you a classic example here in notification system. When something happens in our application, we want users to see it right away. And that's also something that we want to integrate here in this Cinetop application where we have notifications that we want to see when a new movie was added here to our collection. And we have already set up here a few things. So we have an event already when the movie was added, which is broadcasting to a private channel. We already have a reverb WebSocket server already set up that we are connected to and Level Echo is already installed. So the only thing left is inside our notifications plate file here. We now want to listen for this event and then we want to show it in the UI as well. So what we want to do is we want to use Echo and we want to listen for a private channel, which we can do here. And now we need to provide the name of the channel. And by default, it's app.models.user, so our user model path here, and then the ID of the user. So this will listen to a private channel, which is just for my current active user. And since our event is also a notification, we can use the notification helper here, which then receives the notification itself, which is the data we get from the backend. And inside the browser, if we go to the network and then to WebSockets and refresh, we should already see that we are connected to a private channel. And we see this here. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we are connected to this private channel, models.user.one, which is the ID of my current user. And also if you broadcast now event, so that's, that's the idea of the movie. Let's take 15, for example as a movie. And I also have a delay installed here for one or two seconds so that we see it in the UI. But interesting for us currently is here that we see that the event was broadcasted here. And here we also see the data of the movie. But of course we don't see anything yet here inside the UI. And for that I've added here a little help here, add notification, which will now add this notification to the UI. So let's try this again. Maybe let's go with movie 10. And if we go back here, we should see in a second here, yeah, we got now in real time this notification that there was a new movie edit, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we can check it out here. And as you've seen, there's not really much that we have to do on the echo side here. We're just listening for the channel. In this case, it's a notification, and we just use this data in order to show it inside our UI. But Echo isn't something just for real-time notification. Let's look at something more dynamic here, like a presence channel. So in our case, we want to show the current active users, or the users that are currently online. And we have this nice bubble here showing us how many users are currently online, but it's not yet working. So let's take a look what we need in order to show this. So first I'm inside here, the channels.php file. This is where we have to find all the channels that we want to create that we can listen to. And by the way, the channel that we were using before the private one for every user was this one here. Here we're checking if the current user is the one that belongs to this channel. And here we're turning true and false. With a presence channel, which is this one here, that's a little bit different because here we are now returning a little bit of data that we can use here. So the only thing left is to use echo again. And now we're using the join method in order to join a presence channel. And the one that we want is called online. And then we have a few callbacks here that we can use. And we're starting here with the here callback, which is going to be triggered whenever we join the channel first. And we get the current online users, and then we're going to use them. I have a render users method that will show them to us in the UI. And switching back here to our UI, we can see now that it's already working. We can see here we are locked in as Alice, and we can see that we are online here in this indicator. But of course, we need some more users, so I have two incognito windows here. And we're going to log in here. I have here a quick link here. We were logging in as Bob. And you can already see now we have two users, Alice and Bob. And let's log in here as Charlie as well. And you can see we have now all of the free users here. And we see it here directly through our presence channel. But there is, of course, more that you can do. 
So we have two more callbacks here that we can use joining when a new user is joining so that we immediately see this by pushing a new user here to our users array. And then we also have a leaving. So when a user is leaving, that we can update our UI as well. And we were going to see this all in real time. With Laravel Echo, real-time features are just a few lines of elegant JavaScript code away. Your users get instant updates and you get beautiful, maintainable code. Echo handles all the complexity of WebSockets connections for you. You just can focus on building great features. Please make sure to check out the official docs to learn more and have fun bringing some real-time features to your applications with Laravel Echo.